from former UFC champ John Jones to contender Kelvin Pastel, UFC fighters are feeling all types of way about the recent altercation between Fabric Io Werder and Colby Covington. As someone who's both a part of Covington past and interested in his future, UFC welterweight Arlie Laves didn't sit this one out, either. Laves faced Covington in December 2015. The Brazilian went into the UFC 194 encounter unbeaten and stayed that way after finishing Covington with his signature guillotine choke in the first round. It was Covington first and, to this day, only career loss. On Thursday, Laves, 11-2 MMA, 5-2 UFC, who'd already been nine a rematch with Covington, 13-1 MMA, 8-1 UFC, heard about happened in Sydney. And not only did he not take issue with Verders, 22-7-1 MMA, 10-4 UFC, alleged boomerang throwing, he actually had a special request for his fellow countrymen. I didn't think it was a big deal, Laves told MMA Junkie. Actually, I know the whole story. What happened was Colby kicked him. Verder defended it. And people stepped in to separate them. Colby was mocking him and Verder, who's no pushover, through the boomerang. I'll make a request here, Werder, please don't hit him. Leave him for me. Or better yet, you can hit him, just don't hurt him. Because I want to beat him up. Of course, it's usually the fighter who got beat that asks for a rematch. But Lave's interest, he says, has been sparked by something much bigger than their history, it's about country. Covington infamously incited the ire of Brazil last month when he flew down to OAS Paulo for a UFC Fight Night 119 meeting with two-time UFC title challenger Median Maia. While Covington jabs toward the country had been present all week, it came to a boiling point after he beat Maia, thanks to a post-fight speech that involved calling Brazilians filthy animals. Covington has remained unapologetic dash at least toward Brazilians, and, once more, brought up this rhetoric against Werder. That, and the use of an anti-gay slur, is why some of his peers, despite the fact that the available images show Werder as the one who turned things physical, aren't showing Covington much sympathy. Laves, who had just returned from his honeymoon when he was alerted to Covington post-fight speech in OAS Polo, has had that stuck in his throat since. I'm an extremely patriotic person, Laves said. People around me know how devoted I am to my faith and to my country. People who follow me on Datagram know how much I love the Brazilian flag and how much I value it. Then this coward, this chicken, this idiot comes in and says my people are animals. That Brazil is a place of filthy people. I already wanted to beat him up again, because he's too full of himself, but now I really want to beat him up. Laves clarified that his intention is in no way to make this an issue of Brazil versus U.S., as his problem is not with an entire nation, it's personal. Laves was so peeved by Covington remarks, he says, that he tried to get in touch through different types of media, including the phone. The fact that Covington hung up and never replied to his datagram message, for Laves that can mean only one thing. He's running from me, Laves said. I called him and he picked up. We started talking and, when he realized it was me, he hung up. He's a coward, a chicken. He comes in here, speaks poorly of my country. He attacks my people from under his bed, which is where he is at when he's making his posts talking about our people. He does that from under his bed, because he knows that if we run into each other anywhere, I'm going to get him. While Covington has said he'd take the chance to correct the fluke loss to Laves, he's been aiming higher up the welterweight ladder lately. More specifically, he's been saving most of his verbal ammunition for champion Tyro Doodle. Since their meeting, Laves and Covington have gone on much different paths. Covington beat four opponents in a row en route to his co-headliner against Maya, while Laves has just recently bounced back from a two-fight losing skid. Still, Laves said this is not about where they two stand in the welterweight rankings. I'm not doing this to promote myself, Laves said. Even if I beat him up, which I will do, I can stay in the same place in the rankings. Ultimately, 
Lays believes there are more worthy contenders in line for Oodle's belt than Covington. And, of course, he'd like to get his stamp at the controversial welterweight first. But, even if Covington does end up landing his title shot, Laves doesn't mind waiting. He can fight for the belt. He can do whatever he wants, Laves said. But when we meet, I'll get my hands on him. He'll regret having said anything about my country. He'll never say anything about anyone's nation again. Because I'll beat him up, and he'll apologize. For more on the UFC's upcoming schedule, check out the UFC rumors section of the site.